wow, like if my life didn't prepare me for this, I would have failed. I would have failed. And all my life has showed me is if you fall down, get back up. Fall down, get back up, no matter how many times. That's all my life is about, you know? So that's all my life has taught me is to get back up and be strong every single time. And if you're not equipped to do that in Africa, this is not the route for you. Maybe come 10, 15 years later, once we have created a system that is a little bit easier for people who want that type of route. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lala. This is Lala's Journey. If you're not familiar with me, I've been documenting my journey in Africa for the past about a year, year and a half now. Uh, I started in East Africa for about a year and now I'm currently in Ghana. If you guys like my content, make sure you hit that notification bell below and subscribe for future content like this. So we're gonna talk about reasons why you shouldn't move to Ghana. So let's start with number one. The first reason you should not move to Ghana is for love. Like you shouldn't move here specifically for that. Honestly, you shouldn't move anywhere in the world looking for love, you know? Because when you go looking for something, you'll find it. And what you're looking for is someone who is also looking as well. And you gotta ask yourself, why is that person looking, you know? Because if you're looking for love, you're actually chasing it. And when you are a person who moves with self-worth and a high value, you don't have to chase anything. It will attract itself to you. That goes for money, love, anything in this world. If you want love, love will attract itself to you. When you're a full person inside and it's time for you to love, love will come to you. I literally feel love is faded, you know? And I know men are always looking for their wives. That's how I personally feel. I, in my opinion, I feel like a man is always looking for his wife, but he's looking for his wife while he's moving in his purpose. So he's not going to the nightclubs looking for this girl. You know, he's not going to a specific country looking for a certain, you know, a certain type of woman. He's actually chasing his purpose and he may run into a woman on his way and yeah he can uh, approach her that's what men do you know um sometimes women do it <laughs> but naturally you know that's just what men do and i'm not talking about that like i'm saying like don't move somewhere specifically for something you know like because what you end up meeting is someone who is also codependent because if you're looking for something, you're actually codependent because you're looking for something outside of yourself to give you value, to make you happy. Like, you know, because right now I'm happy. I feel full. I feel like I'm walking in my purpose. I always feel like it's something more I should do. And I'm, I'm so busy working on my purpose. I don't have time to chase love, to go out there looking for men. Now, I can place myself in positions where I will attract a certain type of man but I'm not gonna go to a place just for a man. I'm gonna be going to events that I, that, that thrives, that makes me feel full, you know, that makes me happy, that makes me feel like I'm, you know, moving in a purposeful way. And yeah, if I run into that guy, that's perfect, you know, but I'm not looking for love. I used to do that when I was young, you know, but I, I'm giving you words of wisdom here. Like, don't move here specifically for that. If that's your only reason, don't come here just for that. So, number two is opportunity. Now, if you want to create opportunities, this is the perfect place, you know? But if you are coming here looking for a job, mar like a huge job market, it's not here, baby, like not in Ghana. Like when you come to Africa, you have to be prepared to be a pioneer. And I feel like the people, everyone that I've met here in Africa has said that they've been pushed here by God, every single person. So I, I personally feel if you're pushed here, God has already equipped you 
with the skills that you need to be in Africa, to have the skills that are going to keep you in Africa, to be an entrepreneur, to work, work and have pa passive income, to, you know, move in a smart way financially that's going to keep you around much longer. So um, don't come here specifically looking for opportunity. This is a place where you create opportunity. Don't come here looking for that. This is not America or somewhere that is already, you know, developed. This is somewhere that is developing. So it's that, that, that developing stage gives people like myself and people who are independent minded to come here and say, okay, I can create opportunity where the gaps are needing to be filled. So come here looking to create opportunity. Don't come here just looking for opportunity this is not the place nowhere in africa is the place for that not even in south africa you still have to um be independent you know you still have to find a way to be creative to make opportunities happen for yourself financially so don't come here looking for that um this one is gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings because we have been through so much in the West as far as discrimination goes. So this is something we specifically look for when we're moving here to Africa. And I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna hurt, but don't come here looking for connection, you know? Some of the locals will be kind to you. They will be welcoming, but um, a lot of people are not gonna understand you. They're not gonna relate to you. Like a lot of our ways and their ways are so much different. So at first it's gonna take you some time to um, adjust. And it's on it, honestly in that time, is a time that you need to take to heal all the programming that we've learned in the West, all of our toxic ways. Like this is a time to heal when we're adjusting to you know, in acclimating with another type of um, culture. So um, some people are also gonna not be welcoming. They're gonna be mean on purpose because they wonder like, why are you here? But honestly, like it depends on where you are. Here in Ghana, people are way more welcoming. There are other places that are known for their hospitality as well. So there's places where you have a higher chance of connection, but there are gonna be like 20% of people in that you know, population that just give you nasty looks or, you know, they don't say hi back to you. Like, it's okay. You're going to have haters everywhere, everywhere in the world. I have them in America. I have them anywhere I, I, I go. So don't um, come here looking for it because you'll end up disappointed sometimes, you know, and um, not everyone is gonna be kumbaya and wakanda forever like it's just not gonna be like that here and um sometimes but uh yeah use that time to heal and eventually you know you will get acclimated to their culture and and, and, and things will gel a lot better and yeah it'll be a higher chance of connection once you here a little bit longer but don't come here specifically looking for that don't come here <laughs> i'm gonna repeat <laughs> do not come here looking to keep up don't come here looking to keep up with the joneses it's like don't come here to stunt you know don't come here to show off back home because you know that things are a lot cheaper because i'm telling you like don't come here doing that because you end up going back home a lot faster than you think you have to literally live completely below your means, like, you know? Um, because finances, bills, things like that keep creep up on you. You have such a culture shock when you get here that you're so drained, you don't even wanna work. And then when you come here, you realize you're healing, you're at peace for once in your life. So you're gonna wanna sleep a lot. You know, bills are gonna creep up on you. So, you know, like, I'm just saying, live below your means. This is what I see my parents do when we moved to America. They went from, we went from having our own bedrooms, my brother and I shared a room, but we had our own beds, to my sister and I sharing a room. She was eight years older than me and my brother sleeping on a pullout couch. So, you know, we went from two, from four bedrooms to two bedrooms. 
and a pull-out couch moving to America but guess what within five years we were in a six bedroom house you know so you have to stay down to come up literally like don't come here trying to show off and trying to live with the Joneses just don't do it I'm telling you I'm telling you you'll go broke really really fast because you're like wait hold up I spent this much so yeah don't do that the next thing understanding don't come here for looking for understanding <laughs> um the reason why i said that it kind of goes hand in hand with connection right but um what i mean by understanding like most people don't know your story here they may know little bits and pieces of it but you'll be surprised how many people don't know about the transatlantic slave trade some people aren't able to connect with us to have that understanding um, because they didn't hear about our story like certain people divided us for a reason in our history of one another like it's a lot of things that we don't know about them and they don't know about us so because of that reason like you're not going to get understanding just like some Africans don't have understanding when they come to America because you know we have different ways in a different culture so yeah, don't come here like looking for understanding because um, no matter how much you try to tell them the truth, some people don't want to hear it because it's so gruesome and because of white supremacy, like, you know, who some people may see in a high light, if you let them know the truth, it just exposes so much and like MLK, not MLK, Malcolm X said, you know, you got to give people the truth little by little. If I'm not mistaken, that was Malcolm X that said that because, you know, when you try to tell them too much and overload them with our history, like, they, you can see them shut down mentally. Like, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear. Because it's so gruesome and it's so truthful and it's so, you know, that's why some people don't like my channel because I'm all about the truth and transparency. But, you know, I still try to give it to y'all little by little because I know I'm a lot. <laughs> Because I don't look to people, please. Like, I'm here to be of service to people who want the truth. So, who need the truth, you know, to know how to move. Coming here to Africa, it's like crossing a Red Sea, for real. Like, for you to get to a point where you're actually comfortable. It's like crossing a Red Sea, literally. So, I am here to be of service and a guide to people who need that feedback. And then the next one is um, don't come here if you are looking for an easy route. <laughs> Nothing about Africa is easy. I think when people hear that it's cheap, they think, oh, it's easy. Oh, um, I can take the light, the power outages being off sometimes. Like everything about Africa and especially America or anywhere in the West is completely different. Like there are just some things that we've never seen and we're not accustomed to you know um if you're looking for the easy route this is not this is not this is not the route for you like i said earlier god has prepared people to be here prior to even coming to africa that's why most people would tell you that they've gotten a call to be here you know you will see that it's nothing about africa that's easy like if you want easy Stay in America, please, like, or stay anywhere in the West. Don't come here because it's not developed, you know. Um, like I said, you're not going to get connection and understanding like that. Like, everything about the process is really tedious and it's really draining, but it's very much worth it to me and others who are here walking the journey with me. So, yeah, like, it's not an easy route, definitely. So don't come here looking for that at all, like, this route is strictly for pioneers. My pioneers, like that, like that's all it's for. Because wow, like if my life didn't prepare me for this, I would have failed. I would have failed. And all my life has showed me is if you fall down, get back up. Fall down, get back up, no matter how many times. That's all my life is about, you know? So that's all my life has taught me is to get back up and be strong every single time. And if you're not equipped to do that in Africa, this is not the route for you. Maybe come 
10, 15 years later, once we have created a system that is a little bit easier for people who want that type of route. But that is, this is not the time to come here now if that's what you're looking for. So, um, all right, next one is don't come here looking to isolate yourself. If you come into Africa, if you want to isolate yourself, stay in Europe or stay in America. This is this is not the place to isolate yourself. Now, if you want uh, off the grid home, you know, all, hey, by all means do that. But you're still going to have to connect with your community to be able to survive. This is a communal society. You will absolutely not survive if you're coming here looking to isolate yourself the entire time. No, you got to make connections with someone. Like you have to put yourself out there no matter how many times, you know, someone may reject you. And that's the thing, like most people are looking to help most people, but some people will let you down like, dang, you know, like, but it's not like an individualistic place like America. So you cannot come here looking to do the same thing and benefit from Africa in other ways. Like you have to really be a part of the society to survive here. Even the Europeans that come here, they know that. Everyone that comes here, they know that. That's why they these, I've seen more Europeans living like in the village areas and I don't really see black Americans a lot of black Americans living in the village areas, maybe in Tanzania, but um, I'm sure there are people, I just have not met them. Most people are looking to come here and connect with expats and literally keep a little America in anywhere in Africa. And you cannot do that. It will not work for you, I guarantee you. Because what you're gonna recognize is a lot of the expats are healing as well. Like the people that come here, like they have a great vision and everything. But everyone that I've met has some sh that they need to heal from immediately. And sometimes, I I'm sorry, I don't want to be around expats all the time. You know, because I'm trying to heal. You know, I don't want a trauma bond. You know, and I'm not saying that people that are here are going through trauma, but we have all went through our fair share of trauma in, in America. And I I I'm not opposed to connecting with expats. You know, but I, I'm I'm coming here to also connect with the locals. You know, so you can't come here and try to form and try to form a little America in Africa. Like it's just not gonna work for your benefit. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you hit the notification bell below and hit that subscribe button. And see you next time. Bye. One love.